This is the Simply Go uh, POC or portable oxygen concentrator. Uh, make sure you don't confuse this one with the Simply Go Mini. This is the larger unit. This is the Simply Go. The Simply Go Mini is a smaller, uh, over-the-shoulder type unit. The Simply Go that we've got here uh, is in a two-wheel cart. So remember, with all of our units that are in a two-wheel cart like this, uh, it, it means that the unit is big enough that it can make continuous flow and pulse flow. So it has a mode selector on it. We can switch back and forth from continuous to uh, pulsing flow. The smaller units will only go to, or, or can only be used in the pulsing mode. So this unit, you can see, has an accessory bag on the back of it here, as uh, all the units do. So that's going to be uh, normal for all of our POCs. And in the accessory unit, they're going to have a charger. And the charger is here. And it is uh, an inverter that's plugged into the wall. Uh, so we've got AC coming in one end and uh, DC, 12 volt DC, coming out this side. And the charger plugs into the side of the unit right here. And it's configured with pins like that, so uh, it's easy to, to put in. It's only going to go in one way. So get it lined up in there and plug it in. The other choice we've got for operation of uh, using battery power of some sort is using a car adapter. So this is the car adapter. Again, we've got an inverter. And then the car adapter, of course, this plugs into a automobile 12 volt outlet so we can get the car power that way. And then this would plug into the side in place of the AC charger. So with the car charger in place, um, we've got uh, unlimited use as far as the car is, as long as the car is on and running. And of course the same thing as long as we've got it plugged into the wall. That's an important thing to note, note about these um, POCs is that when they're plugged in, they will just continue to run. So if you're traveling with it, very handy, just plug it in with the car adapter. When you get to your destination, hotel or wherever you are, you can uh, use the battery to get inside the building and of course when you get there in your room you can just plug it in and you're good to use that for the for the night or rest of the day that you have. The uh, unit does come out of the cart. Uh, it's just velcroed in to position on this cart. I'm going to leave it in here for right now just to show it to you. But it does come off real easy and it does have a shoulder strap if you want to. Uh, carry it that way. It weighs about 10 pounds. It's uh, not the lightest unit we have, but not too bad at 10 pounds. So if you look at the front of the unit, we've got a power switch here. Uh, it's a button that you press. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'll press it here, and I will press it again. You notice when I press it, it comes on on the screen that it shows the hand or the, uh, the finger pushing down again. So hit it once, hit it twice, and it will start. Now when it comes on, you can see in the center there, you can see because I've got it plugged in that the battery is charging. So it's charging up. Um, uh, battery time on this unit is not real long. I'll shut it off just momentarily here just to show you the battery. Hit it once, hit it twice, and the battery is right back here small battery, so we don't have a lot of uh, battery power there. Small and light, but it doesn't last too long. We've got about uh, uh, 0.7 hours running at 2 liters per minute, hour and a half or so running at 1 liter per minute. And if we get into the pulsing modes, of course, that saves battery time. So at that point, we probably, depending on the setting, we could have up to about 4 hours of um, time on, in the pulsing mode. So next to the power button, there's an alarm silence. The unit does have alarms on it. It'll alarm if the patient, if we have it in uh, pulsing mode and the patient does not breathe on it, if there's internal problems, if it has low oxygen content and different things like that, and the symbols will come up in the screen, and then you'll be able to hit the silence if you need to silence that for some reason. 
The mode selector, that's the M. So when we press the mode selector, that will bring us from continuous flow to pulse mode. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then, of course, our screen that indicates what we're using and the charging. And then we've got plus and minus here, and that indicates uh, or allows us to go ahead and change the settings from one from 0.5 up to 2 in the continuous mode. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cannula on here, and there's the outlet where the oxygen comes out. I'll attach that. So our mode selector, what are we in right now? Well, the way it's indicated on this machine, if you notice right here, there is there's wavy lines. And those wavy lines are indicating that the machine is in continuous flow mode. So when you see the wavy lines like that, we're in continuous flow, and that means it's in liters per minute. So the one right now that it's at is liters per minute. And if I hit the mode selector, you'll notice this change. Now, there's, another, there's three modes, and the mode that it goes to next, I actually, we recommend that you don't use. And I'll just explain it real quick. If I go here, it's nighttime. It's a moon with stars, and it indicates that the uh, unit is in a pulsing mode, and it's a super sensitive mode for nighttime use. And that is one of the limitations of a POC, is that the pulsing unit should not be used at night um, uh, because of the fact that you may not trigger the flow because you might start breathing through your mouth or breathe in very lightly through your nose. So we don't recommend that using that mode, but we do go and commonly use the pulsing mode, and that's the symbol for the pulsing mode. So pulsing, the way it's indicating is that when the patient breathes, they get a breath, all right? So right now it's set at four, I'm gonna go up to five, and then six for the pulse. Now in the pulsing mode, uh, the numbers roughly indicate the number of milliliters of oxygen you're getting. So starting at one, you get about 10 cc's, two, you get about 20 cc's or milliliters, and up here at six, we're getting 60. And depending on the device, those numbers aren't real accurate, but I'm using those just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. We're looking at an amount or volume that is being delivered by the unit here for each breath. Keep in mind that those numbers do not correlate with liters per minute. And the only way to come up with those numbers is to do a titration or actually check with an oxygen saturation to make sure that that number will give the user enough um, oxygen to maintain their oxygen level where it should be. And if we press the mode selector again, we get to the continuous flow mode. And there we are, now the oxygen is gonna uh, flow continuously. That's what makes this a versatile machine. The pulsing is uh, good for uh, traveling around, walking around with the unit, and then the continuous flow allows you to use it at night for, uh, for nighttime use.